Hello everyone, my name is Draconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of RimWorld Alpha 16. Today we are going to just continue building our base because we really need to start sending people over to a third base that we shall build. Perhaps not as big as this one since it will be sort of the last stop. Well, not exactly the last stop, but certainly one of the last stops. Again, I remember that our destination is this little flag, which is always as far away from our home base, which is here, as the game can make it. Now, we see here that we zigzagged a little bit, that is because of the hexagon that the pods create. Is it a hexagon or a pentagon? I don't remember does not matter what matters, is that we get over to the other side. And to get over to the other side we definitely need more components. And yes, Taters is attempting to finish this one. So one, one transport pod has... I'll check here... No fuel... Oh, okay, but... Uh, I just wanted to check how, how much it can carry. I can check on these though. And I actually want another one to be built. But let's see here. It can carry 150 kilograms. That is enough for one person and some supplies. So who should we send over to the third place? Hmm. Well, over here. The only person who is capable of doing almost anything is Bartos or Erebus. Now, Erebus doesn't really have a main thing other than doctoring, but Bartos can take over that. And Tiger and Bartos will have to be the ones maintaining the main base until they are ready to be transported as well. What is the problem here? Why isn't this being fueled? Because there is no fuel. We have an escape pod as usual. We will capture, strip and send them on their way. We do not want new people. Sorry Cassandra, your efforts are appreciated but unwanted. It's also uh, starting to be very very dangerous to leave people alone here even though we have a pretty good turret system now. Uh, things are dangerous out on the rim. So let's see here, our Sophia needs to be released as soon as possible. Over here these two are just sleeping. Narda is enjoying her kitty life. Again, reminder that the goal is to get Narda off the planet. Though she might die here because she is an old kitty. Also a good reason to hurry this along. Either that or, you know, we'll end up killing everyone. One of the two. So Sophia is now been released. She has hasn't been fully patched up, but that is her problem. I think she will make it out of the colony, which is the important part, after we've harvested her clothing, of course. Which isn't very good, but we can tear it down into its parts. Also have the centipede and mechanoid here, which I would love it if they got torn up. So Bartos got a little job for you. Disassemble all those mechanoids so that we can get components. Yes, one component from that cider. Should get another one at least. No, we didn't. Come on, give us the components. There we go, another component. And he has been pulled on a date, which I don't want. So here we go, tear down that centipede, and we didn't get any more components. Well, that is unfortunate. But at least we 
checked. They're not just sitting there waiting to be torn up. Over here, Taylor's doing her best to build things and clean, while Tanner is giving her the materials she needs. Very good. This still needs to be deconstructed so that this wall can be constructed, but that is a okay. Who is cooking? Uh, Taters. Taters is supposed to be cooking, but I suppose she doesn't have either the materials or the skills to cook, though. Ah, yeah. No, this, this one really has to be... Well, okay, let's... There. Now she should cook some simple meals for them so that they don't have to be eating raw food, which I think might be a problem. Let's see here. Mm. Eight raw food, exactly. That's something we want to avoid. Got some thrombos passing by our colony. That's fine. We don't need their stuff. Narda is wandering around confused because she has dementia. She's a very old kitty. Poor thing. At least it's safe to wander around in this place. Is well taken care of. Is my point. I love that smoke leaf is being used to make camp fuel. That is amazing, really. Definitely need to send a bunch of steel over to this place. Local dromedary has gone mad. Well, should be an easy thing to take care of. There we go. Done. Talia. <laughs> Talia's finishing it off. Good job. Good puppy! Got so much devil strand here. I actually think it might be a good idea just to stop, you know, the devil strand growth because. Well, we don't need it, to be honest, and it's occupying work time, I suppose, is what I mean. That way people can focus on growing and gathering food, and the rest will take care of itself. I also don't need that cornfield, we'll keep this one with the hydroponics more than the food for three people. Narda is no longer confused, very good. The kitty is safe. Ooh. Hmm, Cassandra has a sense of humor. However, I shall take it because meat is meat. Out on the rim. Harsh, yes, I know, but things have to exist and be eaten. Um yeah. Sort of. Well, continuing on, this space is coming along, as I figured Taters is now making some nice simple meals. Um, 9, 10? How many are you going to make? Oh, 20. Okay. That's fine. You'll make more than 20, but 22, but that is more than reasonable, and we can use the food. Fortunately, Tanner is pretty fast and a good hauler. Does help out a lot. Oh well, he ran out of work enough that he is constructing. That's kind of amazing. It really, really, really is. Now it's up to Taters to craft all the stuff. Let's see here. Um, details. Drop on the floor. Drop on the floor because Tanner can pick it up. As well as everything here. Just drop on the floor. And go get a new chunk. Perfect. Same for these. I think we really should let our hauler do 
this job most of the time. Why so many cargo pods, really? We don't need it, Cassandra. Honestly, you you can give us better events. This place is filthy. I suppose people aren't having the time to do things properly. Now this here needs to be deconstructed, though that wall is pretty good for defense. Mm, might as well just put, you know, some more sandbags and some more turrets to fill it in. So we'll leave it at that. Wasn't someone needing a clavicle? Yes, Bartos needed a clavicle. And do we have a clavicle? Artificial clavicle... Crafting 5... Let me guess, no, I can do it, no. Jade, we don't really want to bring in Jade though. Uh, okay, fine, bring it in, we'll sell it as soon as possible. Now that Eris has built that wall, we can continue adding on what is being built now. Some sandstone, rough cobblestone. Very good. I approve of this. Do we need any wood? No, we have more than enough wood. And now that wooden things are built, I guess we can resume doing camp fuel from wood and put that tree farm to use. We have struck compact machinery, wonderful news! I approve immensely. And it looks like it wasn't the only thing we hit, we also deconstructed that mortar and got three components out of it. Which is very, very good. I wonder why Erebus isn't finishing the lines. Apologies for the meowing. Because he just got up. <laughs> He's that type of kitty. Holy sh... 26 boars! Oh my god! Oh. My. God. Well, this may very well spell the end of this colony. Letting you know right now. Where's Tiger? Actually, Tiger. You flick that one. Oh dear god. Yeah, this is not gonna be pretty. This is not gonna be pretty at all. Oh. Yep, Erebus isn't gonna make it. Yes, you you fight them. Bartos. It's up to you. Hopefully Erebus will just get downed and eventually rescued. Go, flick, 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 flick! There we go. Now you can do that. Hopefully they will separate enough that... Okay. Oh. oh no, tiger! Move, 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 move! Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, he made it. Bartos, come up. Run. Run now, Bartos. We need to get to here and flick that switch. Go up here. So that they'll have to cross the things. And up to here. Come on. Tiger, how are you doing? Not especially good, but hopefully I can 
Come over here and help, Bartos. Making it. Go, 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 go. Click that switch as well. And come over here. Make sure that they are... There we go. Good job there. Tiger, mm. you are still doing good. Pilot broke down, we do not honestly care. Okay, is that all of them? Let's check. Yep, that is all of them. Holy moly, I thought we were done for. Guess not, so... Everyone's still pretty good except Bartos, uh, except Terribus, I mean, and we can rescue him pretty easily. There we go. Come on, bring him in and let's get him healed up. Who? Well, Bartos, it's gonna be up to you. Talia finishing off the boars, as, as she should. And now Erebus is definitely getting all the treatment. He needs... Uh, guess not all of it. Are we out of herbal medicine? We are. Well, that... Well... Mm, that definitely means... We might have to allow sewing here, but it won't. There we go. That that should be enough. Poor Erebus. At least he got downed instead of killed. Up here, Taters is still attempting to finish a cloth desert robe. Why? I have no idea. Do any of you tailor? Yeah, thank you, Daisy does. Um, because I should probably do the same thing here, to be honest. Make it a crafting spot and I'll put it, I'll put it right here. And I want you to make desert robes, do until you have one, and drop on the floor, make desert wraps, do until you have one, drop on the floor, and finally make smoke leaf joints because those might help out. There we go. Uh, Erebus is back on their feet for some reason. Uh, tending to Tiger, okay. Uh, hopefully they'll go back to bed because, you know, yes, good. Perfect. At least we have so much meat now. Like, really so much meat. And we can obviously toggle the turrets off when they have the time to do it. All the time and health do it, I suppose. Erebus. No immediate danger, but still bleeding a little for some reason. Tiger doing perfectly fine. Guess they just got bruises. And helping out by turning off all the turrets and harvesting all the rice. Very good. I definitely very much approve. Disease infection. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, hey, Bartos, it's not your sleep time. It's actually work time, as in... Treat people time. Oh, you can relax socially, yeah, that, that works too. Uh, yeah, your husband is having an infection and you're just 
eating good food. Yes, go take care of them. You'd be ashamed of yourself. Talia continues to be a good pup. Moving things around. It's a good puppy. You're a good puppy. You're a good pregnant puppy, apparently. When are you having those? Aw, oh, moving very poor because her, her leggies have been destroyed, though she's still pretty fast. I wonder, can we make her some leggies? I don't remember if we have that mod. But there... Simple prosthetic animal leg. Requires no minimum skills. How many do we need? Or Tally, our only remaining husky? Two. Two of them. I think she deserves it, to be honest. And a nose. Can we have a prosthetic? No. No simple animal nose. That's fine. Not even bionics. Hmm. That's odd. Guess she doesn't have a nose now. He hunts through her sight. <laughs> Again, this is now a little bit of a waiting game since I have to clean all this up. Oh well, they did manage to destroy a turret. That's not great. Really not great. With doing some clothing. Awful. At least it's not gonna be tattered, I suppose. How is it doing here? Unfinished. Because Taters is sleeping. Why is Taters sleeping? It's not sleep time. She really should be finishing up those clothes since hers are tatered. <laughs> tatered. Mm, I'm not entirely sure if I'm sorry for that. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Gonna shut up. Mm. Again, Narda got a breakdown. Because the poor thing is old. So old. I oh, guess they're starting to be able to make him feel severe illness. What? Oh dear. Okay. Um. Well, Bartos, why are you sleeping, first of all? Uh... Oh dear... Yes, Erebus is possibly going to die? Pretending... Let's see if a Glitter World medicine is going to help. Although it's climbing a bit too much and it's in the torso, so I can't really amputate. We'll have to watch for it. See how we glitter world med will help. Uh, this rate possibly not gonna help. Oh dear, dear. Nope, they're dead. Uh, Darn. We do have a... Yeah. Well, that was unexpected. Hmm. Food poisoning. Okay, I don't, don't really... Yes, yes, I know building that when someone's already dead, but... One last person to send over, I guess. I'm going to have to send 
Well, ideally, I would send them both at once. That might definitely be a problem. I am thinking. Well, these should be... Please make your fuel level be... the max. The ostrich self-tanked, which means the ostrich is going to die. Do we have anyone who is mining? Yes, everyone is mining. That's, that's good. Because we need to finish these and see if we can't get any more components. How about the hauling? Yes, hauling is also covered. Okay then, we have a little thing there, which I don't think has anything in. Mm, how about construction? Construction is doing okay. Not here though, here we are waiting for blocks. We do forever, yes, so... I guess as long as we have wood, we'll be doing that. Well, that changes plans now, doesn't it? Hmm. I definitely think that we should try and send Bartos and Tiger at the same time. But to do that, we need to see where we can launch that. Like some 60 something tiles. That's not really far. In somewhere around that distance. Then the mountains make it harder to get over there. Oh dear. Well, if we have to leave one person in each thing. Well, we don't because we are going to abandon this colony, right? Eventually. We definitely need all the pemmican. At the very least. Mm. So, we'll get all of the pemmican, send those two over to here, so that we can abandon this one. Try and survive here? The problem really is components and steel. Well, I say that's a problem, but... But... Right? But... Self components, wow, that's that's kind of massive. Let's see if we can't send that one over. Right? And install that and install that and that and send those two over. Hopefully that will work. Where Talia she is sleeping there for some reason. I have a bed. It was Nardo's old bed, but you can use it. Making more pemmican, which will be definitely necessary. Spoke leaf leaves, which we don't really. Don't really need that. The only problem here is chem fuel. Chem fuel is not being made as much as it should be because 
Ricardo is confused again. Hmm. Now, people really spend a lot of time just eating and stuff. Falling smoking. Oh, right, because we. Right. Yes, well, I suppose you have to do it once in a while. Uh, Talia, well, late stage, so she's gonna have puppies eventually. Just really gotta wait. How's her moving? 20% of oh, poor thing. Poor, poor thing. We definitely could use her help with the hauling. Yep, she's trying now. But her poor movement. She needs. Uh, more ladies. Yes, good, good, good. Well, I guess that will be it for this episode. Next episode we will be trying to send all this equipment over here so that we can scan the area for underground deposits of, you know, steel and the components. Hopefully that will be enough so that we can start sending Bartos and Tiger over and over and hop the skip along to get to our destination. But until then, remember to like your them. Well I guess we can deal with that. Sort of. Actually Tiger, it's really more important to extinguish oh dear. Okay, no, no. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <sighs> like the video if you liked it, disliked it if you disliked it. Don't forget to leave me a comment and check out my Patreon. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.